Hey everybody, welcome back to Blockchain Central. With the second episode, we continue our series devoted to the biggest tech companies and how they're currently exploring blockchain solutions. Today, we'll be looking at JP Morgan Chase. Let's get right into it. JP Morgan Chase is yet another huge corporation that openly expressed interest in blockchain technology and made strong moves in the industry. The company is one of the biggest financial institutions in the world. It's been classified as the sixth largest bank with the total assets of $2.73 trillion. The key person at the company is the chairman and CEO, Jamie Dimon. Mr. Dimon famously went on record in 2017 saying that Bitcoin is a scam and that the people who decide to invest in it will end up paying the price. So why does a company led by a person who said such harsh words about Bitcoin is making a strong move into the blockchain technology? First, let's try to understand the business of JP Morgan Chase. In general, the company provides investment, banking, and financial services. It also operates under multiple brands. The JP Morgan brand is focused on investment banking, asset management, private banking, and wealth management. JP Morgan Chase Bank handles fiduciary activities for private banking and wealth management. The Chase brand, on the other hand, is used for credit card services in the United States and Canada, as well as retail and commercial banking activities in the US. How does blockchain fit into all of that? Well, generally it makes sense for one of the biggest global financial institutions to be competent in the emerging DLT technologies in order not to fall behind in the field of blockchain and crypto development. But JP Morgan takes it a few steps further. The technology they developed, known as Quorum, has the goal of bringing common adoption of blockchain to financial industries. Quorum is an enterprise-focused, permissioned blockchain designed to be used by the financial industry. What this actually means might be slightly controversial for hardcore blockchain enthusiasts, especially those who swear by Satoshi's original manifesto. Big Finance wants to take advantage of immutability, trustlessness, and automation brought by smart contracts, but can't really accept public ledgers and permissionless access points. In addition, public access to smart contracts can bring in a threat of exposure of valuable data such as investment strategies, transaction data, or sensitive internal information. That is exactly where Quorum comes into picture. It takes the most valuable pieces of blockchain technology and translates them into the financial environment and mindset. The technology is built on the Ethereum blockchain with several additions such as permissions management, transaction privacy, and voting-based consensus. What does it mean? First of all, the Quorum network is a permissioned one, which means that it is implemented between participants that are pre-approved by a designated authority. It is what we typically refer to as a consortium blockchain, even though technically such approvals shouldn't be needed in a trustless system, certain compliance requirements render this functionality necessary. When it comes to privacy, transactions on the network can be either public or private. Much of the cryptography is handled by the constellation system, how this works is rather simple. The node that propagates the transaction replaces the original transaction payload with an encrypted hash received from the constellation. Only the participants of the transaction will be able to replace the hash with the payload through their own constellation instance, and it will remain hashed for the rest of the network. This hybrid solution guarantees privacy and, more importantly, does not overburden the blockchain, making it fast and efficient. Quorum also ensures the privacy of smart contracts executed on the network. In addition, Quorum runs a zero-knowledge security layer developed in partnership with Zcash. The layer enables the transfer of assets without revealing the sender, receiver, or the quantity. Another important feature of the technology is the voting-based consensus mechanism. The protocol is called Quorum Chain, and it starts with the Genesis block, which, through a smart contract, signs voting rights to the selected nodes. The contract later tracks the voting process of the respective nodes. Then it prompts the voting nodes to commit to a given transaction. So in summary, Quorum is designed to be fast, secure, and give the operator control over who can access the network. As a trade-off, it is highly centralized and permissioned. 
What are the primary applications of Quorum? JP Morgan Chase announced that they're testing their own coin, dubbed JPM coin, that runs on top of Quorum. JP coin is designed to be a stable coin, with Fiat Cash being deposited at the bank in exchange for the token. The token can then be transferred over the network or redeemed for cash directly with the bank. The company started testing the technology in June of 2019 with the primary function of facilitating instantaneous payments. What's interesting here is that while Ripple is tirelessly working to strike new partnerships with banks and financial institutions, JPM Coin has already one of the biggest banks behind it. In addition, it will arguably be easier for an established institution such as JP Morgan Chase to find new partnerships than it is for a cryptocurrency startup with a very polarizing reputation. This might be even more apparent if we take into consideration the fact that JP Morgan Chase intends to later expand the portfolio of fiat currencies compatible with the JPM coin to include other major currencies. One thing that is clear is that JP Morgan has no plan to make the technology available for retail customers, but we don't yet know if the company plans to use the blockchain primarily as an internal service or as a product available to institutional customers or even third parties. One argument supporting the latter is that JPM has already announced a partnership with Microsoft, which dubbed Core the preferred blockchain for Azure Cloud. Another big development is the announcement that JP Morgan Chase is working with the Monetary Authority of Singapore in developing a system for cross-border payments using multiple currencies. It is also said that third-party clients don't have much success interacting with JP Morgan regarding the use of their technology in other projects. According to Peter Munnings, who was involved with the MAS implementation, the Quorum team is very focused on JP Morgan projects, so we are not finding the same level of response from them. Mr. Munnings instead mentions very good experiences interacting with the Hyperledger-based enterprise blockchain platform called Bessel. It seems like JP Morgan is in no rush to roll out their technology to external clients, but is said to be using it internally with a group of institutional clients. We'll see how the project develops. What's your take on it? Do you think Quorum will challenge Ripple as a go-to platform for instantaneous transactions? Let us know in the comments. Before you go, please note that this content does neither represent financial, legal, or tax advice, nor is it supposed to be understood or interpreted as solicitation to buy or sell securities, coins, or tokens. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Blockchain Central to never miss a beat. Also, check out our blog, link in the description below. You can also follow me on Instagram at the Blue Mantic to check out my other projects. See you in the next one.